Photoshop dropped the bomb this week and social media is flooded with generative fill videos. So let's put it to the test. Here is the image in Affinity Photo, which I'm going to export and import back in Photoshop Beta. In Photoshop, I'm going to remove the text using generative fill, which in theory should be quite easy. We select the area and apply a generative fill. And here we encounter the issue you are going to see a lot in this video. Somehow, one of the generated results violated the user guidelines, it seems. I did get to options though, and the first option looks actually pretty amazing. We will have a look at what these guidelines exactly are in the end of the video, where I'm going to share some important side notes using this feature. Let's continue with the second text. Okay, no idea what is going on here, but it is violating the user guidelines over and over and over. By playing and being creative with the selection, I was able to remove most of the text. No matter what I try right now, the tool keeps violating its own rules. Let's park that part for later and remove the text on the left. We encounter similar issues, but being persistent and stubborn, I was able to remove the text. To be honest, the result is pretty awesome. Let's retry to remove the last part. This is getting frustrating. But just as I was going to give up and use the healing brush, it returned the perfect result. It did a great job at the end removing the text. Now let's extend the canvas with the crop tool and apply the generative fill on the empty area. That is freaking awesome. It did an amazing job. Notice how the parts of the girl on the left are out of focus. Let's do the same with the top of the image. That is really convincing. Time to alter a face. And this angry face is the perfect candidate. I will make a quick selection, but this time I will type in what I want it to be replaced with. Of course, a happy face. The first option is not really what I'm looking for, but the second one is pretty good. All in all, it is an amazing tool, definitely worth the hype, and I'm guessing this is a small peek into the future of creative tools. Time to finalize the image by adding the meme text to it. I do have a big concern with the way this feature is implemented. Let us check the user guidelines. Even though they are not mentioning it, Adobe is now going to dictate what is acceptable and what is not. I understand that we all need some guidelines, but Adobe is also the judge and the executioner of these guidelines, with as a result that there will be restrictions as an artist now. And I'm not even mentioning privacy issues, as I'm guessing Adobe is looking and validating your work every time you use this tool. Think about that for a moment. And remember, this feature is also not available in China. Oh, by the way, also keep in mind that you cannot use this for commercial purposes yet. Thank you for watching and until the next video.